I'd like to update you on what happened with school choice this week in the House. HB 129, which is the Choose Act, it is sponsored by Danny Garrett in the House, and he is the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee or the, the Education Budget Committee. And it did pass this week. No Democrat voted for it. Basically, what it is is a universal savings account. It is a tax credit that a parent can apply for between $2,000 and $7,000 that a parent could use. That tax credit goes into an educational savings account. Then when a parent needs to pay for tuition or books or fees or whatever, um, the Department of Revenue has called a qualified expense. The Department would, of Revenue would transfer money from that educational savings account to that vendor to pay for that education service or that education good. This bill is not perfect, but we are pretty happy with it. And it did pass, like I said, with no Democrats voting at all. And then there were six Republicans voted against it. You can go to alabamaeagle.org. You can look under week four and you can see the list of Republicans that voted against this bill as well. It is headed to the Senate. We are expecting there to be probably a public hearing next week in the Senate. It will be in the Ways and Means uh, Education Budget Committee. We are watching this carefully. We would love to see the homeschooling students be able to get more than $2,000. That is an amendment that we have suggested. Right now, you can only have two homeschooling children receiving funds. We are not China. We do not like the two-child policy. So that is another amendment we would like to see added to the bill. So with that, that is basically where we are on school choice right now. Thank you for watching.